Hi friends, uh, recently I dismantled the turbocharger, so I am sharing some information about it. Let's see the function of the wastegate actuator in a turbocharger. Before that, first let's have a quick look of how a turbocharger works. So this is the turbocharger and here you have the turbine side and uh, this is the compressor side. Uh, it, it is like uh, same like the jet engine principle only the only it's the reverse. Uh, once the engine starts running and the exhaust gas flow through the system, it rotates the turbine. So, uh, so the turbine uh, the turbine rotates the compressor. So uh, the compressor sucks the air in, uh, air inside uh, the engine. So for the same uh, sweep volume, it gives um, the compressor sucks more air into the engine, giving a boost pressure and a better performance for the same volume of the cylinder. So uh, what you see here is an external wastegate actuator, turbocharger. Uh, the function of the wastegate actuator is to regulate the speed of the turbocharger compressor. So, uh, uh, so how how it happens? Uh, it regulates the amount of the gas volume flowing into the turbine. It opens and closes the bypass valve, which uh, the uh, where you can see here. One second, let me, let me, let me show, show you. So. You we have a better view here. So uh, I made a Google search, and uh, this is the wastegate actuator, and uh, you can see the linkage here. Uh, inside there is a bypass valve. Uh, we also we can also show the bypass valve. So uh, this uh, link uh, this linkage opens and closes the bypass valve. Which uh, so wait a second, we will have a look at this bypass valve. So this is the bypass valve. So uh, this bypass valve bypasses the excess gas uh, flowing through this turbocharger. Uh, this is a pneumatic controlled actuator. So, uh, you can see a hose going from the compressor side all the way to the uh, uh, this actuator. Uh, actually, the hose is broken, uh, uh, but actually it is connected. Uh, so once the um, uh, boost pressure increases, once more air is sucked into this compressor, it uh, uh, a boost pressure is also applied to this actuator. There is a diaphragm inside this actuator, which in uh, which in turn pushes this link, uh, this uh, linkage, this lever uh, opens and closes a bypass valve inside. Uh, this bypass valve allows or uh, it it. Uh, when the bypass valve opens, it allows more uh, it allows more excess gas to flow through it. So, uh, excess gas will be flowing through this bypass valve instead of, instead of flowing through this turbine uh, and to the outlet. So, it mm, it actually really bypasses the turbine. So, uh, when you get more uh, when the boost pressure is more, it activates this linkage, and it. Uh, and it uh, and it bypasses the turbine, so uh, thereby reducing the speed of the turbine. Once the turbine and compressor speed reduces, the charger pressure also reduces. Uh, ch uh, the charger. This wastegate actuator is uh, is a sort of a governor. It it functions like a governor uh, when when it regulates the speed of this uh, compressor. Actually, it regulates, regulates the boost pressure. So, uh, in summary, uh, the wastegate actuator opens and closes the bypass valve, which bypasses the excess gas flowing through this turbine. In another video, we will see about uh, wastegate actuator adjustment to control the engine performance.